Hey, this is Kobe from KobeRot.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Guru Squeeze Ninja software. Now, I've already got the software opened up on my desktop, and all you simply do is follow the instructions up here at the top. Right here, you can see it says, What is the title of your squeeze page? Now, I can look down here at the bottom and the temps and hits and see that this says, This is the actual title of your page not the headline. This is what will appear at the top of the page in the browser. So I'm going to change it from free GIF to free video. And click Next. Now it's going to ask you which image would you like to use for the background of your squeeze page. Now remember this is the guru part of it, right? This is just going to make it the guru style. So we've got five options. You have lagoon, sunset, mountains, waterfall, or rainbow. I like the waterfall so I'm going to choose that one and then just click next. That's going to ask you what color do you want the background of the content box to be. Now this is going to be the box that has your opt-in format, your headline and so I'm just going to leave it as the default which is black but you can change to any color you want um, by inserting the color code. If you don't know the color code you can simply click up here where it says color picker and that will take you to colorpicker.com so that you can get a color code. So you can see this is completely customizable. You can customize every aspect of your squeeze page. So the next thing that you get to customize is how wide you want the actual content box to be. I'm going to leave it at the default which is 530 pixels and then enter the amount for the top and bottom margins. If this confuses you just leave it at the default the 40, uh, 44 which is, works pretty good and looks pretty good. If this is for the more advanced users uh, who want to really play around with it because I want you to be able to customize this as much as you wanted to. Now it's going to ask you which style would you like to use for the border around the contact box and you get three options dashed, dotted, or solid. I like the dash. I'm going to go with that and then I'm going to click next. Now it's going to ask you how big do you want the border to be and this again is in pixels. I'm just going to leave it at the default which is five and click next. Now what color do you want the content box border to be. You can leave it at the default which is silver or you can put in your own custom code which I'm going to, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to enter white which is six F's and then click next. And the next step is to just enter your headline. So I'm going to do that now. And my headline is how to add 100 to 300 subscribers to your list this weekend. Then I'm going to simply click the next button. And it's going to ask me what color do I want my headline to be. And you can change this to anything you want. I'm just going to leave it at the default which is white. You can make it red, blue, again any color you want. And then click next. And now it's going to ask you to enter your sub headline. So I'm going to change, the, change it from the default since this is a video. And I'm going to change it to enter your email below for instant access. And I'm going to click next. And what color do you want the sub headline to be? Again you can make this any color you want. I'm just going to leave it at the default which is white. And then I'm going to click next. And now this is where you paste in your opt-in form. This can be an HTML code or a JavaScript so it will work with virtually any autoresponder. So I'm just going to paste in a code from one of my AWeber forms by pressing Control V on my keyboard. And I'm going to click next. Now it's going to ask you to enter the message that appears at the bottom of the content box. This is normally where people will put something like, remember I won't sell your email address, uh, I won't spam you, or stuff like that. I don't like to use that. I like to use something positive and something upbeat. So the default is, remember, you will get instant access to your free gift. But I'm going to change that since this is a video. You will get instant access to your free video and I emphasized free by capitalizing it. Now this is one of the last steps. All we have to do now is click create squeeze and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I'm going to do that now. So I've chosen where I want to save it and then I'm going to click OK. And that's it. You can see that the folder where you saved it will pop up and also the software will display this message telling you that the squeeze page has been created and that all you have to do now is upload the index.html file along with the images folder to your server. I like to use an FT, uh, FTP program called FileZilla and of course if you want to edit this squeeze page you can do so because uh, using your favorite HTML editor the one I like to use is a free one called Composer. 
So let's just take a quick look at what we created. So I'm just going to click on the squeeze page that we just created. And boom, that's what it looks like. It's very beautiful, very nice. It only took us a few minutes with very little effort, and it's very professional, very good looking. Of course, you get five different backgrounds that you can choose from. This is just one of the five. So it's that simple, it's that easy, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Kobe with KobeRoute.com, signing off.